In this video, we're going to be multiplying three digit numbers by two digit numbers. Here is a number sentence, 124 multiplied by 23. It's really important to line the numbers up correctly. So we have the thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. 124 has 100, two tens and four ones. 23 has two tens and three ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. So first, we'll multiply 3 by 4. 3 times 4 is 12. We can drop the 110 below in the tens column. Then we can multiply 3 by 2 tens. So 3 times 2 is 6, and then add the extra 1, so it's 7. So now we need to multiply 3 by 100. 3 times 1 is 3. So now we need to multiply 2 tens by 4. As we're multiplying the number by 2 tens, we need to put 0 as a placeholder in the 1's column. So now that we've got 0 as our placeholder, we can multiply 2 tens by 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Then we can work out 2 tens multiplied by 2 tens. 2 times 2 is 4. Then we need to work out 2 tens multiplied by 100. 2 times 1 is 2. The next step is to add the two answers together. So 2 add 0 is 2. 7 add 8 is 15. We can carry the 10 tens over to the hundreds column to make 100. Then 3 add 4 add 1 is 8. And then 2 add nothing is 2. So the answer is 2,852. Let's have a look at another example. 237 multiplied by 35. 237 has two hundreds, three tens and seven ones. 35 has three tens and five ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. So first we'll multiply five by seven. Five times seven is 35. We can drop the three tens below in the tens column. Then we can multiply five by three tens. So three times five is 15 and then add the extra three is 18. We can drop the one below in the hundreds column. So now we need to multiply five by two hundreds. So two times five is 10, add one more, 11. So now we need to multiply three tens by seven. As we're multiplying the number by three tens, we need to use zero as a placeholder in the ones column. So now that we have zero as our placeholder, we can multiply three tens by seven. Three times seven is 21. We can drop the two below in the hundreds column. Then we can work out three tens multiplied by three tens. Three times three is nine, and then add the extra two is 11. We can drop the one down in the thousands column. Then we need to work out three tens multiplied by two hundreds. Three times two is six, and then add one more is seven. The next step is to add the two answers together. So five add zero is five. Eight add one is nine. Then one add one is two. And then seven add one is eight. Let's have a look at one more example. 461 multiplied by 32. 461 has four hundreds, six tens and one one. 32 has three tens and two ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. So first we'll multiply two by one. Two times one is two. Then we can multiply two by six tens. So two times six is 12. We can drop the one below in the hundreds column. So now we need to multiply two by four hundreds. So two times four is eight, add one more is nine. So now we need to multiply three tens by one. As we're multiplying the number by three tens, we need to use zero as a placeholder in the ones column. 
So now that we have 0 as our placeholder, we can multiply 3 tens by 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Then we can work out 3 tens multiplied by 6 tens. 3 times 6 is 18. We can drop the 1 down in the thousands column. Then we need to work out 3 tens multiplied by 4 hundredths. 3 times 4 is 12, add one more, 13. The next step is to add the two answers together. So 2 add 0 is 2. 2 add 3 is 5. Then 9 add 8 is 17. And we can drop that one down into the thousands column. 3 add 1 is 4. And then 1 add nothing is 1. So the answer is 14,752.